Good morning, my name is Jim McLaren. Today is Tuesday, November the 13th, 2018. Now we're going to look at some switches on my, this microwave. And uh, always remember that I've always checked the capacitor. Always check the capacitor that's unplugged for the, it's been unplugged for at least a week now. And just check your capacitor. Very important you check your capacitor to be safe. Uh, insulated handles on these pliers. Now I bought two switches from Ditto Parts off of Amazon for about $28 Canadian. And there's two different switches, but uh, there's the normally open, which is the top and the bottom switch, and the normally closed, which is the middle switch. So this switch will go at the top or in the bottom, and this switch will go in the middle. Now, I don't know if you can see it here, it shows normally closed, and this one's normally open. You can see it there. So I wanted to change the normally closed one, the middle switch. I'm just going to hook it up here and get the, the ohm reading. Just pause the video for a sec. So I've hooked up the normally closed switch and I'm going to turn my multimeter on. Set it to ohm reading here. It's on ohms. And I got the switch hooked up. Now it shows a reading. So normally that switch is normally closed so when the microwave door is closed that switch should have no should not have a reading. So it's open now because the switch is not pushed. We push the switch. Now, this is the way the switch is supposed to work. When the switch is pushed when the door is shut, then you get no reading. When the switch is released, you get a reading. Just to verify that, we're going to uh, select the ohm. This little uh, icon is like a speaker, so now you can hear it beeping, so you know that as soon as I press the switch, the sound goes away. That's another way of testing it. So this is the middle switch in my microwave, and there's the connection here. There's not plastic on it, so I don't have to worry about it. i got a good connection here. So I'm going to hook those leads there, take a reading on this switch. Now, just to let you know, this switch was changed. The original switch is one I just tested. Now it's hooked up to the multimeter now. And you're getting a reading with the door closed. You're getting a reading. You shouldn't be getting a reading. I'll just uh, open the microwave now. Now Now you get a reading, which you're supposed to get. When the door is shut. There should be no reading. So I just select that audible alarm. So that alarm is ringing, shouldn't be ringing. The door is closed, door is open, still ringing. Shut that off, that's very annoying. So now, is this switch working? Is this supposed to work like this? I don't think so. Anyway, I'm asking my fellow YouTubers to help me out here because I'm not sure what's going on. The other thing, you can remove this connector, the brown one. The brown one comes from the comm goes to this transformer here and you hook it back up it's okay select that alarm it's not coming on as soon as you open the door it's going to come on so by removing that brown wire the switch works perfect now somebody going to ask well maybe that switch is not pushed all the way in well, what I did is I took the switch, took the switch and I uh, just left the wire, took it right out of the harness there, and I taped it shut, I hooked up the wires, and it does the same thing. So it's, it's making contact inside the microwave. So I'm hoping my fellow YouTubers that's done the, a lot of these uh, microwave oven uh, videos will help me out here. I'm going to thank everyone for taking the time to watch my video today. Have a great day.